Hey guys, welcome back to another Reality Check VR video. Today, we're gonna to be jumping into some virtual reality accessories. That's right, it's been a little while since I've done any VR content, and even though this is kind of some old school content, I'm gonna go ahead and, in the future, bring us back into the new age of VR again. It's been too long, and I want to get back into making some modern content. So, before we can get there, I have to finish what I got before. It's been a few months, uh, almost a few years, since I've kind of done any virtual reality content regularly, and because of that, I've got these old accessories that have kind of stocked up on me, and, and I wanna get rid of them. I wanna go ahead and open them up and play with them, including some a few new things that have actually popped up, including the proxy mat, which I have right there. I was one of the luckiest first people to get to you know try out one of the first proxy mats years and years ago, and now they've got an upgraded version that just came out earlier this year. As you'll notice, I've got the Quest 2 behind me. I, I used that for a very long time and it suited me just well. Recently, I've had some projects that have come up where I actually need to upgrade to the Quest 3, which is why I went ahead and picked one of those up just the other day. Quest 3 versus the Quest 3S. I went ahead and made sure to go with the 3 just because better resolution, right? Better field of view, I had to go for it. So anyways, basically what I'm trying to say is we're gonna have some new updated content on the channel very soon. So, in the first box, we, oh, we have a note. Caleb, thank you for being a long-standing supporter of Proximat. We hope you like the new design, Ryan. Thank you, Ryan. Ooh. Ah, all right, nice. Nice and simple, all right. It's got an actual design on it called the Proximat Portal. You've got your lead button and your center button. This allows you to put it down in virtual reality and know where you are standing at all times without having to take your headset off, without having to lose your immersion. So, throw that on the floor. Cool proxy mat, I like it. I like, I like, I like it. We're gonna have to actually play some virtual reality so I can, uh, can, can test out the mat for real. But before we do that, let's see. Kiwi, Kiwi designs. So what we have right here is some Weights, that's right. We have some virtual reality weights that are gonna be something that we can add on to our controllers to help us work out while we're playing in virtual reality. So, for example, if you're doing a game like boxing or if you're doing Beat Saber and you want just a little bit more, uh, you know, of a challenge, you're gonna add these weights to it, right? So each one of these feels like a half a pound. Like a half a pound extra in each one. Maybe a, maybe a pound. <laughs> so this weighted part's actually gonna just slip right into the controller like that. And then you've got this like cap right here that, so now <laughs> you can see the controller right here has a real hard top to it. It's actually very top heavy. And now it's actually got a little bit of a weight added to it. So yeah, there you go, there we go. We'll go ahead and put both of them on. I wanna try them both out. Ah, I wanna try them both out. Baby still sleeping, everybody fine, everybody happy. Just be kind. Okay. Quest 2 accessories are going away, but that doesn't mean that we can't make a video about them. Cause some of them are actually usable with the Quest 3, oh. so that's nice too. I'm happy, you're happy, if you're happy that I'm happy, then we can be happy that they are happy, and they can be happy that we are happy, and that's why I'm making this video. All right, I'm gonna be super honest right now. When I put these weights in here, these things literally feel like missiles in my hand that are gonna absolutely slip out the moment I get even just slightly sweaty. So I'm gonna have to concentrate on making sure I do not let go of these things because this would not only rock it out of your hands at an incredible speed, but because they have the added weight to them, they're definitely gonna cause an impact to the wall or screen or glass or anything and everything that they hit, including people, or animals, right? So you really do not want to be around anybody where you could accidentally smack somebody with these weights. Although I think they're a really cool idea. Oh my gosh, these just became dangerous weapons. Wow. These products won't unbox themselves. That's how the saying goes. I know this because I waited for years and the items were buried with dust. 
No magic unboxing, no happy nights out. My gadgets get lonely unless I sing them lullabies. Bye for the moment, bye for the now. Sit on a cactus and you'll surely say, ow! Quest 2 accessories are going away, but that doesn't mean that we can't make a video about them. Cause some of them are actually usable with the Quest 3, so that's nice too. I'm happy you're happy, if you're happy that I'm happy, then we can be happy that they are happy, and they can be happy that we are happy, and that's why. I'm making this we're gonna take a second to open all this we'll get right back to it we'll get right back. He needs to back off. <laughs> Here we go, here we go, here we go. Stay defensive out there. I'm taking one where it hurts. Oh, come on. Come on, Rocky. What's up, buddy? Oh, yeah. Lighter than usual. No way. I still got it. I still got it. I still got it. Yeah. Bring it on, Jake Paul. Bring it. You gotta come back over here. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up, but there, we have two different kinds of wands. Obviously, this one is more for your Beat Saber style. If you're gonna be swinging it around, I'm gonna go ahead and find my little piece and do some tests in Beat Saber with this one because it gives you just a little bit extra reach, and I think it might be kind of fun even for my son Daniel to try out the wands uh, and see if it's just more fun or if it's less immersive. Really, it's we're gonna test out and see how they work. I'll go ahead and make an update on the Instagram, uh, and also when it comes to this one right here, uh, you just have a simple little uh, mechanism right here where you can turn it left or right and it will simply just kind of uh, go on or off based off Ooh, there it is this little screw that you see right there this little itty bitty screw and it just kind of links up right here and as it shows it kind of fits right in like a little lego piece and once you tighten it up you can feel nice and secure and swing it around and play some golf which is what this one is for it is your golfing tee. So uh, I'm pretty excited to not only just play some golf, but like I said, let my son play with these tools and see how the immersiveness takes over. When it comes to putt-putt, it really feels a lot more like putt-putt when you're holding something like this as opposed to just the controller base like this. And those little tiny details matter uh, immensely when it comes to virtual reality. The whole reason we're playing virtual reality is to simulate our realities, right? And if we can immerse ourselves with some something so simple as, as a tool like this, uh, I think why not? Let's let's go for it. And especially when it comes to these things, like when you're playing rackets or tennis, whoosh, whoosh, you know, these are going to be really useful. So uh, for sports, I'm super happy to have these. And for the MetaQuest 3, I'm going to go ahead and see if they work for that as well. Let's let's test it out. I'll see you in the next video coming up here real soon. We're going to be checking out the OWO vest and the old school Sony mocap session. So uh, let's have some fun. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.